Hello everybody, so in today's video, in today's tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to be able to take images, to take uh, photos in uh, Steam games, make an image for one of your workshop items, and also how to make a thumbnail for one of your workshop items. Now, one of my most popular videos is actually doing this same thing. But I realize how bad that video is, so I'm just gonna remake it. Alright. So, let's just get started. The first thing that I am going to teach you is how to be able to make, um, post, take photos, how to take photos, um, on Steam. So first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna go up here, you're going to click the Steam right here, you're gonna go down, you're gonna go to settings right here. Okay. Now, when you're in the settings, you're going to go to in-game. And when you're in-game, you're going to scroll, scroll down, right here, screenshot short keys. keys. And when you're here, you can put it to anything. You can put backspace, W, E. I recommend going to the dash right here. It's next to the zero. Most, most games don't use this key. So yeah. Also, you're probably going to want to make a screenshot folder, alright? So, you can go here, press change folder. I'd recommend putting it in documents. Um, just name it whatever. Mine's going to be Steam Photos, and we're going to be going into that soon. So now, whenever you've uh, been able to take a screenshot in a game, you're probably going to want to put that screenshot in one of your workshop items as a preview little thing. So, I'm going to teach you how to do that now. So, first of all, go to the add-on, the, the workshop item that you, uh, you know, want to put the image in. I'm going to do uh, my Rosebird right here. Now, when, when you're here, you're going to go to the side right here to Owner Controls, and you're going to go to Add slash Edit Images and Videos. Now, when you're here, wait for it to load. When you're here, you're going to go to Choose Files. At the moment, no files were chosen, so when you're here, you're going to want to, going to, want to go to wherever your Steam Photos folder is at um here and you're going to want to uh find an image i'm just going to put a random one here whenever you got one press upload wait for it to load and uh yep it did it now you pr you will press uh, save and continue but i think also if you just press this it will save yep it did so, uh, yeah, that's how you do that. Now, ne now to the uh, next segment. Now, I'm going to teach you how to make a thumbnail for your workshop item. Now, for posting like a preview um, on one of your workshop items is the same for every game that has workshop support. But making the thumbnail is different for basically every game. I'm going to tell you how to do it for People Playground, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, you're going to want to go to your Windows slash SSD. You're going to go to Users. You're going to go to uh, one of these. Now, you, you may have one, and if you have one, that's perfect, but if you have multiple, just try to find which one has this screen. And then when you're here, you go to 3D Objects, Steam, Steam Apps, common and then uh find the game find the game so we're gonna find people playground now when you're here uh go to uh, contraptions now when you're in contraptions scroll down to your add-ons your your workshop items so i'm gonna click on something random and now when you're here i actually forgot one part uh make the thumbnail so go to whatever thing you have uh i'm gonna do paint.net and um uh, you're gonna want to change the you're gonna want to change the size 
So the size that you want is 512. Do this for both of them. And now, uh, you you just make your make your thumbnail. Uh, yeah. Now, when you've made you've made your thumbnail, uh, make sure to let me just do an example. Make sure to cut like cut cut it or you could also copy it but then you have to delete the uh, older version so cut it and go back to this place and then you do a uh, paste right here and if you've named it the same as the image it would say something like do uh, you want to replace this file press yes on that and then it would change into the thing that you want now I'm now, um, there's also a easier, faster way to do it. Uh, you press on the game and you go to this set manage part, and then you go to the manage down here and do browse local files. Now, it will open up this, and uh, yeah, basically the same as what I did, just faster. I'm, I'm going to try to do an example for Gary's Mod, but it may be incorrect. So, what you do here, you go to Gary's Mod. Uh, you go to the dupes, if it's like a dupe. And, uh, I think you'd paste the image in here as like, the same name maybe. I'm not sure, I forgot how to do it, I'm very sorry about that. But anyways, I think that is all. So thank you guys for watching, have a good day, see ya.